BART, TAKE A LOOK. DID YOU KNOW THAT THEY ARE CELEBRATING A BIG BIRTHDAY THIS WEEKEND? THE TRANSIT SYSTEM TURNING 50? YOU KNOW, IT WAS CONSIDERED REVOLUTIONARY FOR ITS TIME, BUT IT HAS BEEN DERAILED BY THE PANDEMIC AND A LOT OF OTHER ISSUES. KPIX 5'S DALIN SPOKE WITH A LONGTIME WORKER WHO'S BEEN WITH BART THROUGH THE GOOD TIMES AND THE BAD. BART'S THE BEST THING THAT EVER HAPPENED TO ME. Oscar Rodriguez spent more than half of his life making a career at BART, 32 years to be exact. We got debris in the track, Frank. Can you go check it out? 10 4, on my way. Started as a station agent when he was 29 years old. And we're checking for debris on the trackway, and sometimes we have to check for unstable people. Now he manages station agents and oversees some of the safety operations. Yeah, be advised, I don't see any obstructions on. Uh, the two track at this time. An immigrant from El Salvador, his work at BART helped him send two kids to college. Now he's a proud grandfather of six. How you doing? That's been the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. I've got an opportunity to play a little bit of professional soccer, but BART absolutely was the best thing that could have happened. He says better than getting paid to play soccer. Once you play for money, it's a different game. In Oscar's three decades at BART, the transit agency has evolved to become a workhorse that connects to East Bay and San Francisco. At the height, about 440,000 people were riding BART daily. Ridership went off a cliff after COVID. BART officials say now about 40% of their ridership has returned on weekdays and 60% on weekends. But for all of its supporters, BART has plenty of critics. Back in 1972, BART promised uh, the customer safe, re reliable, and clean transportation in the Bay Area. In the Powell Street Station, you look something like this. Along the way, you may stop at a magazine stand, enjoy the clean, spacious, architect-designed station. On all three of those metrics, they've failed, especially in recent years. Lawrence McQuillan is a senior fellow at the Independent Institute based in Oakland. Earlier this year, the group awarded BART with the dishonor of the California Golden Fleece Award. The transit system has basically been captured over the years by the labor unions and by the politicians. And BART is more focused on capturing more and more taxpayer subsidies than being attuned to what the customers want. He says BART has become expensive and unsafe with a number of robberies and killings. Our crime rate is actually extremely low when you consider us a public space. Pretty much any other public space you're going to be in is going to have a far higher crime rate than here at BART. One thing supporters and critics can agree on is BART's success is vital to Bay Area's growth, even in this post-pandemic era. How you doing? Oscar plans yeah, to be part of that future. He says at least four more years of BART, he'll be 65 then and we'll see what his body tells him. But for now, he loves mentoring the younger generation of BART workers. If you have work ethic, things, good things are going to happen to you. In Oakland, I'm Don Lynn, KPIX 5. And to celebrate riders, get this, BART is offering a 50% discount on all fares through the month of September. So on top of that, a big birthday bash is set for tomorrow at the Lake Merritt Station Plaza. Who knew from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. the area is actually going to be converted into a museum of sorts. They're going to have entertainment, food, speakers, um, and a lot for the kids as well. So join the fun.